Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Shelly's Millions where you'll join me on my journey to become a millionaire even though right now I'm currently living entirely off of California EDD unemployment benefits. Um, I'm going to be releasing new videos on Saturdays and Mondays so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any part of my journey. If you want to support me in other ways, um, please make sure that you're um, commenting, subscribing, liking, hitting the notification bell, sharing the video, and definitely watching it to the end. It really helps me towards reaching my goals. Um, and it also helps make sure that YouTube shows my videos to other viewers that might be interested in my content. Um, I definitely want to make a disclaimer on this video. I'm no expert. I'm just contemplating myself if I should cash out my 401k to improve my situation. Uh, if for some reason I'm not able to return back to my job after this is over and I need cash on hand to pay my bills. Um, if the situation goes on longer than I'm eligible to receive unemployment. Um, I'm personally not sure if I think that the market has reached the bottom so far. Um, so for me, I'm wondering if it might be better to pull out money from my 401k and invest it back when I do think the market is at or near the bottom. Um, and I'm wondering if the housing market is affected by this, if that's also going to crash. Maybe there's going to be some foreclosures. Um, it might be nice to have some cash on hand so that I could potentially buy a foreclosure. Um, normally when it comes to advice on uh, a 401k, I follow the advice of leave your money in your 401k, don't look at it, don't think about it, and don't take it out. But it's hard not to look when the stock market has moved so much from day to day. This year, I know personally, my 401k has decreased about 20% from the high it hit earlier this year. Um, I always thought I was in a good position and had made wise choices, but now I find myself with no savings and living on what I'm getting from unemployment. Uh, now, for me, unemployment is plenty to live off of, especially once that extra $600 a month or a week ca uh, kicks in. Um, some pros for me to cash out my 401k early um, would be financial security. What I'm worried about is that if this lasts longer than the 39 weeks that I can get unemployment, I want to make sure I can afford the mortgage on my house and if I'm unemployed longer than I can get unemployment, that's gonna be a struggle just to pay just to pay my mortgage because I don't have any savings. Cashing out my 401k and taking a withdrawal would give me that financial security. And if I do this, I know that I could pay my bills no matter what the future holds. So there's some comfort in that. Um, so yeah. Also, uh, another reason why I'm considering cashing out my 401k is potential chances for better investment opportunities. I think the market could fall more, and although I've already lost a lot, the thought of losing more does make me nervous. Um, if I cash out my 401k now, like, could I use that to maybe make better investments to like buy back in when I do think it's up at a low? If there are a lot of foreclosures in this, um, would it be wise for me to cash out my 401k, have that money sitting on hand so that if there was a property I was interested in, I could afford to buy it cash? Um, you know, I would love to have that money in case I wanted to use it to buy more real estate as an investment property. Um, taking a withdrawal now would allow me to have cash on hand in case better opportunities present themselves in the future. Um, I don't know what the future holds, but those are the reasons why I'm thinking about taking a withdrawal and cashing out my 401k early. Um, cons to taking an early withdrawal from my 401k would be missing out on the opportunity for compounding um, interest, compounding the investment amount. Um, if it's not in there, it can't bounce back and grow if it's not in there to be invested. Um, another con is if you don't plan on putting the money back into your 401k or another type of investment like rental property, real estate investment property, or buying back in when the market's low, um, like then you don't have any money saved up for when you're retired or saved up for a rainy day in case the worst situation happens and you need to access your 401k. Um, always remember that no one, certainly not me, knows when the market's gonna go lower. Nobody knows how to time the market. So please don't try and time the market. 
You always want your money to be working for you and growing. And the only exception I would say that there is to this is if you don't think you're gonna be returning to work and you need the money in your 401k account to keep a roof over your head and food on the table. And even then, like the advice that I read seems to be to exhaust all your other options before tapping into your 401k. Personal loans at a low interest rate, refinancing your home at a low interest rate, cutting back expenses, Basically, do not tap into your 401k um, unless it's a last res resort, even if you're using it to pay to pay your bills. Um, so yeah, so those are the potential drawbacks. Okay. Um, however, there are some aspects of the stimulus plan that make taking a withdrawal from my 401k more tempting than it normally would be, as the rules for taking out an early withdrawal are somewhat more relaxed right now. So I went ahead and I called my 401k provider so I could get a little clarification on some of the 401k stimulus questions that I had. Uh, the relaxed rules surrounding making an early withdrawal from your 401k only applies if you're experiencing a financial hardship due to the situation that I can't name on YouTube. Um, so what I asked when I called the 401k plan um, administer is I asked, Usually someone from HR department needs to approve a hardship withdrawal. Is that the case right now? Because my whole HR department is furloughed as well. So no one's in to answer uh, those questions or verify that I'm needed for a hardship withdrawal. Um, and the person on the phone said, no, right now the 401k companies do not need authorization from the business you work for that you're approved to make a hardship withdrawal. You just tell us that you need the money and we can release the funds to you. So basically, um, they know that nobody's at your corporate office answering the phone, so they're relying on you to be honest and let them know if you have a financial hardship um, that you need to take out the money for. Uh, the next question I asked, I said, is there an early withdrawal penalty for taking funds out of your 401k? So this is the big thing that really came out in the stimulus plan. Um, usually, if you try and withdraw your money early, they charge you a 10% early withdrawal fee, but the stimulus um, package is waiving that fee right now on up to $100,000. So if you have $100,000 in the account and you wanna take that out, you don't pay the 10% early withdrawal penalty fee. Um, however, that money is still taxed. So the next question I asked, because I am getting unemployment, I don't wanna do anything that would mess that up, is I said, if I cash out my 401k, um, does that count as earnings? Like would I not get my unemployment money because of that? And she said, no, it's not considered earnings and therefore um, it's not gonna count against uh, your unemployment benefits. It does count as income, but not earnings and that's different. Um, so the next question that I asked is, um, how much can I withdraw without paying penalties? And the answer to that is you can withdraw up to a hundred thousand dollars without paying the 10% early withdrawal penalty. Uh, if you have less than a hundred thousand dollars in your account, you can withdraw as much as you have in the account. If you have more, only the first hundred thousand is going to come out, um, without that 10% early withdrawal penalty fee. Um, do I need to pay any taxes on the early 401k withdrawal? Uh, and the answer to that is yes. Now, usually you pay federal tax of 20% on a 401k withdrawal and you pay state tax, uh, which is going to vary from state to state. But here in California, that rate is 2%. Um, when I called, they offered to withhold the 20% in federal taxes for me before they sent me the money. Um, However, here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Because of the stimulus, you can choose to spread out um, the taxes on the withdrawal for up to three years. So I was like, well, how would that work? Like, do I just tell you, like, you know, that I want to pay for $33,000 worth of taxes this year, $33,000 next year, and $34,000 next year? And she was basically like, you're going to need to talk to your tax advisor about that. So if you don't want to pay the whole 20% federal tax um, right away when you take the withdrawal, you're going to take all of your money and you're going to talk to your tax advisor at the end of the year on how to um, 
how to have that taxed. The other option is because of the stimulus, this is a new rule, you can choose to pay the money back to your 401k account within three years, and then it's my understanding that you don't pay even the 20% um, federal tax. And again, you're gonna wanna talk to your tax advisor, your financial advisor about that, because I don't know if you can say, oh, well, you know, I don't know if you can be like, oh, well, I don't wanna pay taxes on the 100,000 uh, for 2020, um, can I pay it all in 2022? You know, I don't know how they're gonna do that element of it, but you can either pay back the $100,000 um, or you can spread the taxes over three years or you can just have them take out the 20% tax this year. Um, yeah, so those are your options with that. If you do find yourself with extra money um, on hand that you want to try out your hand in investing, um, I highly recommend a platform called Weeble. Um, if it's your first time setting up an account with them after initial deposit of $100, you get two free stocks, one of them valued up to $1,400. My link's going to be below. Please make sure to use that link and let me know which two free stocks you got. Um, once again, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a lot of really good content coming out. Um, I apologize if there's a problem with the sound on this video. I am recording right now off my cell phone and I'm going to be looking to improve that over the coming weeks. Uh, but right now I'm using what I have just to get this information out to you quickly. Uh, please ask me any questions that you have down in the comments below. Um, taking money out of your 401k is going to be a really personal choice for everybody. Um, I don't think any of us wanted to find ourselves in the situation where we would be needing to make this decision. So please think carefully before you make any actions. Um, I just called to ask the questions. I think it's really cool that you can get the money out without paying that 10% fee, but I don't know if that's the best choice long term. I'm really kind of struggling with it. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments below on that as well. Do you think that maybe I should take my money out of my 401k? Do you think I should leave it in? Um, what do you think? My dream is really to be a millionaire and make my money work for me and grow my money and invest my money. Um, I don't want to make uh, any quick decisions. Um, I don't want to regret my decisions, but you know, you never know. You just have to you know, stay calm, research the decisions, do what makes sense for you. But it is nice to have this as an option um, to take it out without the withdrawal. Uh, because yeah, yeah, I, I don't ever want to be in a situation where I'm not able to pay my mortgage. So that's my number one concern. Um, and that would be my number one reason if I do decide to take the money out early. And like I said, right now I didn't, I told the woman on the phone, I said, thank you very much for answering all my questions for now. I'm going to leave it in. Um, I, I didn't even necessarily have a very long wait on the phone with them. Uh, it was about 20 minutes and then she was just perfect answering all of my questions. So, um, yeah, I hope everyone's doing all right. And until Monday, uh, thank you for watching Shelly's Millions.